Leave me at the bar. Leave me at the bar. Life on Tap, episode 77. A multimedia experience now in from the heart of NYC. Hope everyone out there is doing really great. I'm um, hopefully going to get try and get back on a regular schedule as we see now. Um, just to let you know, I am going to be uh, gone next week uh, for um, uh, Fudgems, the one, the only, our buddy, uh, his bachelor party up in Montreal. We're going to be hitting some really awesome brew places while we're out there, in addition, of course, in addition, of course, to some other uh, culinary adventures, so I'm very much looking forward to that. So, great big shout out to, uh, to, to, to Fudgems and also to uh, all the, everyone else out there. We got, you know, uh, the MJ, we got MJZ, Scotty J, Scott B, uh, Dave, of course, Lev, and, and, and all these other people that are coming up and to be in the house with us. It's going to be a great, great time, so we're looking forward to that. But uh, until then, we're going to uh, keep on trucking, basically, with on the same theme from last week, and that's we're going to stick with the Hebrew beers. And today, we're going we're gonna to do a very, very powerful beer. Called, it's the Bittersweet Lenny's Rye IPA. Now, of course, this is this is this was done in uh, an, the anniversary of Lenny Bruce, um, you know, the very outs, outspoken uh, individual who was dead at 40 years of age. You know, dying as a pauper in you know, in in, Cal in the state of California, and you know whether or not you know, and you know he's kind of a mo he's kind of as a self-proclaimed like you know representative of, of of that of something can represent the the sweetness and the bitterness of life is uh, what uh, uh, the brewer the proprietor uh, uh, Jeremy Cowan has to say about this, and, and and I think that it's definitely representative if you go into the makeup of the beer, um, how this is playing out here. So. It's basically malted and hopped up to oblivion, pretty much. So malts, let me, I'm gonna read them off here. Two row rye ale, of course. Torrified rye, crystal rye 75, crystal malt 80, wheat, uh, kiln amber, and car and caramunch 60, caramunic malt 60. Uh, then it's hopped up with warrior, cascade, simcoe, crystal, chinook, Amarillo Centennial, then dry hopped with Simcoe, Amarillo, and Crystal. So this is going to be a really, really interesting thing. I mean, um, interestingly enough, uh, you know, I'm guessing it's hot. It's the level of hops are the order of how they were put in there. So let's take a peek here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's a, a complex hop aroma, you know, and it, you definitely. You definitely do get this incredible rye component out of this. You know, I mean, I mentioned a, a little while back. You know, some you know, one of the uh, Belgian beers we're tasting kind of smelled like a, a little bit like a deli after you just eat, eaten the meal and a, a deli or whatnot. And it, if you want to take a peek, if you were to sip this, it, you know, uh, sniff this, you get all rye, all, all rye bread, baby. It, it, it's 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 amazing. So let's give this thing a shot. Now it is hopped and malt up to oblivion, but I have to say that it isn't like destroying my palate with hops. Or oh, actually, on the back end, it's just hitting me right now. There's an intense hop bitterness on the back end, but the finish is long. It comes at the end of that finish, uh, really tasty. As you can see here, I mean, it's not a there's not a whole lot of uh, carbonation left in this bottle. I really would love to know like when this bottle was put on the shelf or whatnot, but. Uh, in any case, this weighs in at ten percent, so you know, not for the. I mean, I don't I'm definitely not tasting alcohol. I'm not feeling any burn, but I think that you can. I think that you know, knowing what's going into this beer, I kind of expected a certain you know high level of of ABV on this. Well, it tastes like. I guess you can kind of guess that it would have a lot of, a lot of alcohol, but it's not over overtly out there. Um, on the taste, I mean, I am getting, um, I am getting a lot of the, the the Simcoe out of this because it is dry hopped and dry hopped and also uh, and also it wet hopped as well. But it's 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 a nice it's a nice blend. I mean, it's a nice blend of all of them and also 
the way the 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 the, the crystal and the amber and and the Munich and, and the Rye interplays together, it definitely gives you really uh, intriguing and and out, an outgoing beer because it is it is you know like I said there is a hot bitterness on the end but you still enjoy the richness of this of this beer while it's in your uh, front and mid palate yeah definitely again if, if you if you're a bit if you're a fan of rye beers um you know I, I happen to like the the Rasta for rye terrapin you know you have to go with that at some point there's a lot of excellent rye beers out there. There's a couple of rye porters I know that are floating around there. So, you know, if you if you if you don't like rye, then you know, I can't I, I, I can't say that I could recommend this beer to you. Um, but I think that, you know, out of all the all the stuff that, you know, Schmaltz and Hebrew and the Coney Island um, you know you know, group does out there, you definitely need to go out there, you need to explore, you need to try some of these really intriguing beers they're putting out there. Uh, and because they, they, they really do, I mean, especially the Hebrew beers, they really do emphasize, uh, especially this and the, the origin, definitely emphasize the idea of life and, 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 you know, really, you know, taking what you can from the bottle and, you know, really living it up while you can. That really, you know, speaks to me, you know, a, 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 you know the way I, I kind of approach things, the way I like to enjoy things, you know, um, you know, just like I'll be doing, we'll be enjoying time next week. With all the with all the buddies, you know, out, out there in Montreal, you gotta enjoy things while you can with who with who you love, man. And that's what that's what that's what it's all about. But at the same time, go out there and explore and get to know yourself through your exploration as well. So it's really sorry to get all existential right there. That's kind of crazy, but you know, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of where this where this beer is placing me, and I can it's kind of like where I'm at right now. I guess in you know midsummer, you know, when I'm fully halfway through. Um, my entire MBA and other experience. I guess that's kind of where I'm at right now in that big, big crazy mindset. But enough about that. Anyway, if you want to reach us out there, it's uh, on the web. It's www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on the Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am NewType2001. And, of course, on Facebook, I am facebook.com slash NewType2001. Uh, so, once again, a great big shout out there to all... Uh, my peeps I'm going to be seeing shortly. Um, looking forward to seeing everyone. And also looking forward to seeing people out there. Uh, for those of you who have not heard about the Beer Bloggers Conference, hopefully see a bunch of you guys out there, meet a bunch of people, drink some awesome beer with everyone out there. I'm looking forward to that a lot. And like I always say, life's a tap. Drink up until it's dry.